Weather warms and cools almost on a daily basis. While rescue crews urge people to simply stay away from iced over bodies of water, they're also busy training for potential rescues. New size Mark Boyle, you tagged along with the fire department dive team today and uh, some of those first time divers, what'd they show you? Yeah, they said the water was a little brisk out there. Can you imagine? To put this work in perspective here, diving on an iced over lake is what the fire department calls some of the most dangerous work they do as they risk their lives in the event they have to save yours. A little bit of fluctuation. It, I think it's pushing on, pushing on that. Piece. On this 37 degree afternoon, Colorado Springs Fire Department's dive rescue crews submerge in 39 degree water. We were running a quick system check in our head, making sure we have all the proper equipment, uh, making sure that that equipment's ready to go. One way in and one way out on this iced over lake. Underneath the ice, if something goes wrong, there's really small room for air in there. Uh, so we have to be able to Remedy the situation when there is a problem very quickly. Crews are trying to get under that hole, simulating a spot someone had fallen in. Uh, somebody falls through or even the pet falls through. The, you know, pet owners aren't going to just let their animal drown. They, they tend to go out there after, which causes issues. Today, they could actually see what they were doing. Visibility today is actually really good. I would put visibility about 20 feet. That's not typical. A lot of the stuff we dive in is at night and zero visibility. So a lot of the times you're underwater and you're just feeling. With bodies of water in Colorado never really holding ice, there is one stark warning. It's really difficult to get out of the ice in the cold water once you fall through. Hypothermia sinks, you know, sets in really quickly. You start to lose your coordination and your dexterity and pretty soon you can't save yourself and you end up going underwater. And if tragedy strikes, these crews will be ready. They train all the time, more than any other in the department, we're told. While many firefighters total about 20 hours of training in a month, these crews have been known to train over 100. Mark Boyle.